my sister's keeper. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our first YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay active. Yes, so today we're gonna be doing a little game, it's Q&A, and it's basically for you guys to get to know us, and we're just gonna have fun. And excuse us if we're goofy. Okay, so who wants to pull the first question? Go sister. What's your favorite holiday? My birthday. What's your favorite word? Hey. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. Shoot, we from the Bay Area. I heard that. Okay, but on a serious note, my favorite word would probably be Jesus. Hey! Me too. I can't go say that. Yeah, I wrote that question for her. Thank you. <laughs> favorite candy? Every candy on this planet. Would you let me choose one? Yeah, you gotta choose one. I say Hershey's, um, Skittles, okay, um, uh, <laughs> Skittles, Skittles, Sour Skittles. Oh, Sour Skittles. Oh, I feel like I have no idea. What's your favorite style of music? Ooh. Can I choose two? Okay, go. Gospel, hip hop. I heard that, girl. Optimistic? Yeah. When you think positive. Mm -hmm. Um, also I would say outgoing mm -hmm. and intellectual. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep getting yours. Good. Oh she won't. Girly girl or tomboy? Mm. I'd say both. both. Oh yeah. I knew it. Yeah. Let's get to the bottom of this jar. Who do you think made that question? You. Who is your hero 
and why. I think this is such a good hero. I actually would pick, I have a lot of heroes, especially if you go to our, like, our ancestors and stuff. But I'm going to actually say my dad. Aww. I would definitely say my dad is my hero, just really because if you know his story and just all what he's overcome, I just, my dad is my hero. That's so cute. You're good at answering my questions. I love your questions. I love your questions. Do you have a type in males? What is your <laughs> that that question is actually for yeah, her. I'm gonna give that to you. I don't feel Do like I have a does. type? See, I don't want to say I have a type. I don't discriminate. Six figure. That's my <laughs> type. That's my type. But no, on a serious note, I don't want to say I have a type, but I have. I would say a standard, and my standard will be someone who has something. Someone who has something going for themselves, a good head on their shoulders, and a vision on where they want to be in life and where they're trying to go. So I wouldn't say it's a type, but it's just more so of a standard. I don't want no strays. Hi, five. A vision? I heard that. Mm -hmm. Without a vision, people perish. I heard. Bible. Why am I getting my questions? How do you not yours? He must have stuck yours all the way. Mine is light blue. Right. Oh. That's dark. That's Exercise or shop? I heard that. <laughs> he said she hates me. Now, <laughs> now for the camera, I would love to say exercise. But for the truth, shop, shop. We yeah. just went shopping tonight. Man. <laughs> money, 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 money. Y'all didn't know I could sing. <laughs> Would you rather your husband be short and rich or tall and middle class? <laughs> she broke that. I say tall and middle class because we're not going to be struggling if we're middle class. We're going to be just fine. And I'm just fine. Ooh. I'm not going to be walking around with somebody. I wouldn't be happy. But my, a short. My turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Sneakers or heels? Oh, man. I would have to say Jordans. <laughs> so, so sneakers. So sneakers. 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 It didn't say what style. Yeah, I just had to let them know. Let's see. I'm trying to. Is, the one, is this one yours? Because you yeah. You own a pair of Jordans? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, this says more now, for me, now, fill in the blank that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what um, I'm saying. Um, it wasn't a yeah. question. No, he filled in the blanks. I heard that. It's, oh, it's your turn to pull again. Oh, because I didn't do it. I never would love to just interject. If you're still watching, I think you can tell that we're all sisters. We're blood sisters. So I just wanted to just interject and throw that out there. Blood Thank sisters. You. Thank you. Blood sisters. Change us. Okay. Blood if blood. Jesus was right here, what would you tell him? Ooh. I would definitely instantly bow down on my knees because Ooh. you can't just come to Jesus like he's just anybody yeah. so i would definitely bow down on my knees and so what would i tell him what would you tell him i'm telling you i think my soul would just start worshiping mm. him i think i would just start worshiping him i think i would just start thanking him mm. and magnifying him for all that he has done for me in my life hallelujah mm. but um i think i would tell him lord thank you mm. My soul says, thank you. Thank you. You're going to make a teardrop of that question. <laughs> Sit there. Hey. Answer it. Ow. She put one of my questions back. No, she picked and choose it. You cheat. <laughs> no, no, you can read. You can yes. read. No, no, no. What did it say? They're weak. If you could have a superpower, what would oh, it be? Nice. I would, I would say that. I could um, speed. 
speed. Flash. Oh, so yeah. rob a bank. So yeah, they are. Right. Bloopers, we got to cut that out. Okay. What is your favorite animal pet? Um, guys, don't be mad at me. I'm not really an animal person, but if I were to have a pet, it would be like a really cute, tiny puppy that like never grows. That never grows. That's actually really good. Favorite praise and worship song. Mm. My favorite praise. Wait, so seven one a praise song? And oh, like praise just, praise worship. Okay, so mine. I gotta. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, I don't have the 2020, but mine is. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy, 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 joy. What he's done for me. That's my favorite. And you know that as well, so what is your favorite? <laughs> yeah. Just to let you guys know, I seen this question. I put it back in. Are you oh my, you cheater! You funny sister. My name's not on here. Okay, well, I want you to answer that. Can you sing it for us? Can you sing it for us? Sing it. Sing it. Bless in the city. I want to hear you. Let's get to it. Netflix. That's the one. What you You say, yeah, Netflix or Night Out with the Girls. This is really a good one because I really, really have my time where I really look forward to, after a long day of work, a long day, I look forward to coming home and putting on a Netflix. But they know I love, I literally put together empowering women events. This so I true. love my girls' night out too, or girls' day out. We actually have one coming out. Be tuned for yes. Valentine's Day. Yay. We will be having another empowering women's event. So okay, which one would I choose? Okay, I gotta I gotta go with my ladies. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Alright, girl. Are you a dance or a singer or both? Dance. Can you show them a couple moves? Oh. <laughs> loud, in your face, annoying, know-it-all, irritating people. Just trying to do whatever to get attention, probably. Mm -hmm. Touche, touche, touche. Okay. What's your perfect guy? Did you already ask that? No, I said what's your type. She answered it. So, skip this one? No, you can oh. you answer. What's your perfect guy? Wow, that's a good question. Okay, my perfect guy, I would have to say, I mean, I could go on and name all kinds of things, but I don't want to just elaborate, but I think a man who's attentive, attentive, really in tune, like, into me. Yeah. You know, I mean, that me, that might sound selfish, but that goes a long way to someone who's really into you. Into me. Because at the end of the day, like, you don't want someone who doesn't pay attention or who is self-absorbed you want somebody who's gonna be yeah. worrying about what you got going on not worrying but just want to know that you're right yeah someone who you can and you can tell someone's really into you because yeah. they they catch on to the small things and i think if if you're good at observing small things and that that kind of just shows that oh you're you're, you're feeling me mm -hmm. <laughs> no no stop no answer it was that one of yours do you like dreads, braids, waves oh, on a man? Um, <laughs> I already know what you like. But you, my answer's not in the columns. Why are you wearing braids? Within braids. I love her answer. 
So, oh, my name is on here. Do you like dreads, braids, waves on a man? Now, I have a secret. But to all our subscribers, I'm going to tell y'all my secret. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all my secret. I'm going to tell y'all. I don't want to say a weakness, but I'm going to just tell y'all what's my kryptonite. Mm. And it's definitely a man with hair. Okay, but I would, I would have to say, I'm not going to say dreads when I was younger, yeah. But now I think I'm just into the hair. I can braid it. I can, you can wear it out and curly or wavy, but ooh, a man with hair. All right. I do, I do, I Let's, do. Bring it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Your <laughs> turn. <laughs> Sorry. Woo. She went, she went to all the Let's bring her back. So funny. Okay. What should you wear on a first date? I'm so lucky. What should I wear on a first date? I definitely want something cute, classy, mm. but still. I don't want to use that word. Very intriguing. But I want to use just like, yeah, I'll say intriguing. Because, yeah, because the other word, people misconstrue that for something else. And that's yeah. not what I'm trying to look yeah. like. Yeah. But yeah, my so my ideal outfit would be, I would say like some cute bell bottoms, maybe a white shirt, mm. and some nude heels. I heard that. Definitely. Oh, I didn't know if I was gonna say you answer, and then I was like, I don't know if you want to, but please do. My ideal outfit would have to be some probably some boyfriend ripped jeans, okay, with some highlighter Nikes, okay, and probably like a highlighter crop top or a white crop top. Oh, yeah, no. White band up for the okay. first date. Oh, I thought it was just. Oh like, yeah, for the first date. I thought it was like your ideal outfit, period. But that's still a cute. Yeah, that's cute. That was so definitely. Was what about you, Latisa? Okay, for a first date, <clears throat> definitely classic. You never, even if this was second, third, our hundredth yeah. date, you classy. never can go wrong with classy. But so I would just say, I, but definitely feminine. You know, so I would definitely either, it depends on the weather. So if it's a nice, the sun is out, definitely a dress. A little bit above the knee, because we don't want him to think of none. Go <laughs> I can tell you none. I can tell you guys the exact outfit that I wore on my first date. Please tell us. It was a burgundy, flurry dress mm. with black, sheer tights. Mm. Burgundy boots, gold chain. Man, I was way back in like 2014. I heard that. So she's married. Married. Um, me and her are the single sisters. We are. Okay. What is more important to you? The truth or happiness? Oh, the truth. Ooh, wow. That's and is that, real. is that, would that still go? If, say you didn't know, but you were happy in a relationship and you loved this man, and you didn't know that he was doing wrong, but you were happy and you didn't know, so, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. You'll never know. But what's the point? What are you but you are happy. I'm happy. But yeah. you don't know and you never will know. But if you chose truth, you would find out and your happiness would be complete. I don't know, because I just truly believe what God has for me is for me. And I believe in true, unconditional, godly love. There is nothing in this world that could separate us from love, from God. So if God is in my marriage, now I'm not talking about boyfriends and I'm just talking about a marriage. In, in a marriage, I, I want the truth. I can handle the truth. I can handle a storm. I can handle, I can handle the truth. Yeah, that's deep. It's a marriage. Cause I'm just telling y'all now, it's gonna ain't nothing gonna separate me and my husband. husband. Now, <laughs> my husband somewhere right now praying and thinking about me. You feel me? I made a vow to the Lord. So that was just in general. Okay, in general, I still want the truth. 
We can overcome it. Okay, if it was in, Woo! if it was in a business partner, if it was it just I, I, I'm not going looking. I'm not going looking. But if something, if it got brought to me, I, I can, we can work this out. We can handle this. We can fix it in a real relationship. And I don't have too many relationships. Yeah. But the relationships that I do have, I yeah, definitely sure. can handle the truth, and we can make it. We can so make it. So what if he was it. a Ted Bundy? Who Ted? Oh, the killer. Y'all can make it. Past See, that. but when you have the Lord in your life, <laughs> you ain't gonna have no Ted Bundy. The Lord Bundy. not sending I mean, me. But that's the thing. I'm but you just wanna. This is the truth. Uh-uh. Scenario. I still want the truth that Ted Bundy. <laughs> you never know. He loves the mess out of you. You. I still want the truth, sister. What about you? now? I want you to answer this, sister. We actually had a question like this in my, the reason why I brought this up is in my philosophy class. Uh-huh. Basically, he gave us a scenario. There was this old lady. She had a husband. Her husband loved her so much. He said he loved her every day. Uh-huh. She had friends, and they smiled on her face every day, and she was special. Uh-huh. And she had a job, but they gave her the lowest thing where she couldn't mess up. But she was living a happy life. But outside of that, what she didn't know was her husband was cheating and her friends were fake. They never liked her. <laughs> and the job that she had, it was the lowest yeah. thing. And the question was, is she living a happy life? Okay. She has no idea what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Is she living a happy life? Uh, Even though outside of that, everything is horrible. Is horrible. Well, happiness, I, I don't know. That's a really good question, but... I guess happy. She really doesn't know, so she is happy. She's waking up smiling. She's happy. Mm-hmm. She's going to work. Mm-hmm. Even though those friends might be fake, she doesn't know that they're she fake. Doesn't know. Now it's different if you go out searching for something and then you find right something. Now, but she's she's her life. happy. Man. And that's why I answer happiness. You would you would want wow. happiness because that truth is gonna rock your world. But with God. <laughs> All things are possible. You we can come back. Happiness. We can come back. What's hurt? So, what about you, Sarah? Mm. Philosophically, you would say you would want the truth, but in all actuality and like reality and stuff, that's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. But um, I would have to say the truth. I would have to say the truth. That's a really good life. Don't tear it. God. <laughs> If Jesus was standing right here, would you be pleased with your life? Ooh. Would he be pleased with your life? Would he be pleased with my life? No. Sister. Expound. I am not. I don't put in as much time as I know that he would want me to. Um. I I just know he wouldn't be. What do you think? If Jesus was standing, the question is, let me see it. If Jesus was standing here right this, now. This is just killing time for me to think of it. If Jesus was standing right here. If Jesus was standing right here, would he be pleased with your life? That's a really good question. Um if you remember a little bit a while ago, one of the questions I said I'm optimistic, so I do like to think positive. That means I like to also speak positive. Mm-hmm. So I would say, I would say yes, because of where I, where he has brought me from. But of course, there is always room for growth. Mm-hmm. There is always room to learn and grow, and you know. But if God was standing right here and, and where where He has brought me. I would, I would say yes. Oh, that's beautiful. I would say yes. Okay. How about you, sister? And for me, um, I think that he would be pleased. Mm-hmm. Now, I think he also would say, all right now, Sarah, now <laughs> you might can do this a little better. Or this pleased? Little bit. It's pleased, but you can always, I could be pleased with you and you going to school and doing things, but I could also be like, oh, Vanel, maybe you could do this better. Maybe you could do this better, but I'm still happy and pleased with you. So like I was saying, I think God will be pleased with my life. Pleased is satisfied. Yeah, yeah. If something's not satisfied, means that you're, she don't want him to be pleased with you. Yeah. 
you satisfied is that everything is lined up. You're good with it. But you're not satisfied if something else is not right. So back to you, no, he wouldn't be pleased. Now back to the camera. <laughs> I'm just gonna reiterate everything I just said and let you guys know that at the end of the day, scratch all that extra stuff I said, I think he will be pleased because not only have I gained and created a closer relationship with him, I've also increased my read, my Bible reading time, my prayer time. So I think he will be pleased because I've come even closer to him in just the beginning of this year. So I think he will be pleased. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What's your dream job? I want to be in the fashion industry. I we have a t-shirt line, which we will drop the link below. Hi. It's called Lacera's Prayer Closet. And I would love to be in the fashion industry, um, entertainment industry. I would love to get into acting, but more so it's going to be like the business side of fashion and fashion design. Hi. 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 My answer. earring dropped. This is her third answer. We're hearing from her three times in a row. <laughs> If dad didn't like the man good. you brought home and you were in love, mm. are you leaving him or keeping him? Ooh. Oh, this now, hurts! Leaving God him, forbid. dad, dad would be sister. happy. Keeping him, dad would not be happy. So, oh, what, so the question is, what and would you do? you're in love with him. What would I do? You know, if dad didn't like him, that's like God giving me a dream mm -hmm. that the man I'm with is not for me. Mm -hmm. So if dad tells me that he doesn't like the man that I'm with, then it's because of certain things. Either his spirit isn't feeling it or God done told him something. So even though it's gonna hurt tremendously through prayer, supplication, fasting, <laughs> I would have to let him go. Well, not bad. Not. Anybody else re answering that? You answering it. Let me see it. I'm visual. Okay, let's see. If dad didn't like the man you brought home and you were in love, were you leaving him or keeping him? Okay, this is really, I like your question. This is a really good question. It's good. It's <laughs> I would have, now, am I able to say that by the time I bring somebody to my dad, I didn't, I wouldn't have waited till I had fell in love. I would have been brought him to get his blessing. So I, I love yet. Can I say that? And that's re in real reality. I would bring, I would First. get my blessing. What, Daddy? What you, what you think, Daddy? Question of school. I'm that's like, real talk. I would get my blessing for. So I guess. So I'm saying this to our audience. If you are dating someone, or you're interested in someone, or and you're thinking about taking it to the next level, before you do that, bring them to your daddy. Bring them. If you don't have a father, you know, rest in peace then bring them to your pastor. You know, someone who you know truly, genuinely has your back and maybe is spiritually connected with God, go get their blessing. See what they have to say before you get in too deep. Because it is easy to say, oh, I would leave them. But when you are in too deep, it is not easy. it's not easy to just walk away. Amen. So I guess I would, but yes, my answer would be if my daddy was not okay. Oh, you got to go. Because <laughs> it's reasons why. You got to go. We're okay. getting to the bottom of the jar. And if you're still watching, please hit that like and subscribe. Subscribe and cheers to you. Yay! That's her favorite word. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Um, binge watching my favorite show. Um, she, I'm not gonna allow her to stop yeah. right there, audience. Our, we gotta have a name for them. Not just, I'm sorry that we're just calling you audience. Saucy Squad. Yee. Money gang. TT Squad? Latisa Squad? Latisa Squad. But I can't let her stop right there, y'all. Because she has other hobbies and she and other talents and other gifts. And she might not can recognize it, but I can. So I'm gonna interject. Okay. She is a very highly talented dancer, also an instructor. Mm -hmm. She also is an artist with that pen and that paint. Mm -hmm. and paper. She also is into decor. She has a keen 
I for home decor and pet trainer. <laughs> I don't train pets. You train Coda. You train Coda. And hair. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. I can go on, on and, and on, on and on. Well, thank you. You're welcome, babe. Thank me. We didn't do anything. Anything. Y'all funny. Okay. What's your favorite scripture? Oh, thank you. I have so many. Pick one, Latisa. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I got so many, like, because it depends on what situation you're in. It might be, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. All right, now, what's but, your favorite? Uh -huh. Caesar, oh, what about one. The who are in heaven. One, choose. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not watch. Nah, I have so many. <laughs> nah, I have so which one? Oh. Wow. Am I answering this? No. Okay. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, you guys, we have come to the last <laughs> question. I really are you enjoyed. Guys still watching? Yes. Is are. anyone still there? I really enjoyed this Q and A with you guys. I enjoyed you guys. I really did. Okay, look, and this is for me. Wow. Oh, it says three qualities in a man. You said need, but should we? Can we change it to one? You can. I don't need. I don't Cause I'm thinking, like, what do I need? Three qualities that I really need in a man. Oh, yes. you need them to yeah. have. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Accountability. Accountability. I think that goes. I mean, that's a good quality to have, just in a in a, a characteristic within yourself. Mm -hmm. Accountability. Are you able to be accountable for your actions? Yes. And then, um, qualities in a man. I'm trying to see what kind of word can I put this in with I, something I need. I need him to have a relationship with God because I really want to be equal. We have to be equally yoked. So I, I need him to have a real relationship. And, and a relationship is what? That's like daily. Yeah. I'm talking to you daily. Fun. Fun. A personality. Yeah. Because you can have all the money in the world and be boring as I don't know what. So Like this. <laughs> fun. Yeah. Fun. A, a really vibrant, fun personality. Yeah, that's perfect. I want to have fun with my man. Ooh. I'm going to answer it too. Okay, good. So I would say um, family oriented. Ooh. Um, I would say in touch with his feelings Ooh. in a way that's not like, like, oh, he's feminine, nothing like that. Yeah. But like in touch with his feelings, like he could express to me how he feels or how something made him feel. Because honestly, it's really a problem within like the black community, mm -hmm. men, or not even just black men, men in general. They're, it's like, oh, you can't show that you care or you can't show that something hurt you. I want him to be okay with just telling me but like, <laughs> hey, I really didn't, that, I, I wasn't really feeling that. Like, yeah. that hurt my feelings. That's something like that, then all right, we can hash it out, boom, and move forward. Yeah. And then the last thing, of course, for him, of having a relationship with God, yeah. just without me having to be like, oh, we need to go to church. Just no, no, it's like, you're already ready to go. You know what, I have to interject, I love this question. I, I, that was real thought out. That I really like that. I agree to Shay. I really like that, and I like communicating. I think that is so important. Listening to you made me reflect. I need a man who knows how to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we are at the end. I'm so glad you guys made it to the end of this, and I would love for my sister to read the mug that I got her for Christmas. Yes. Oh my God, I love it. It says, sister is God's way of making sure we never walk alone. And it also says, always my sister, forever my friend. Oh, she got this for me for Christmas. Sisters. So, our channel is My Sister Sister's Keeper, Keeper. And that's because we love each other. We are yes. so close. And we just want to share our lifestyle in fun with you guys. So, if you guys stay tuned, we're going to have so much fun stuff on our channel just our life and what we do the fun things we get into so yes. just stay tuned to stay that tuned. and just be on the lookout for the next video Have a Valentine's day bye yeah. also says <laughs> always <laughs> stop drinking <laughs> hi welcome, welcome to, to my sister's okay. keys yeah, i start off by just saying what's on my mug. <laughs> Sister, it's God's way of making sure we never walk alone. <laughs> I'm <not with> you. <laughs> because you're, you're over there. <laughs>